Hi everybody, this is Mary and welcome to Kids Create Club. Today we're going to make a ladybug okay, with some flapping wings and some eyes and some curly antenna. Okay, so uh, red is the red and black's the color we usually think of for ladybugs. I also made one for fun out of black and yellow and gave that ladybug smaller dots. And I made one out of orange and black and gave that ladybug teeny little dots. And this ladybug has bigger eyes than these ladybugs do. Okay, So you can use your imagination and it doesn't have to look exactly like mine does. Okay, So let's talk about what we used to make the ladybug. Now, I used construction paper. But you can use any kind of paper and color it whatever colors you want with marker or crayon. Okay. Uh, the other, so I use I use black for the body. You can always color it. We're going to use red today for the wings, and a little bit of brown for. We're just going to cut a little strip to make the antenna out of, and some white for the eyes. Okay. Uh, beyond that, you will need your scissors, and remember. To cut, you are going to put your thumb through the top hole, your first two fingers through the bottom hole, and these extra two fingers will just tuck them away. Keep your elbow in and your thumb up when you cut. We'll need a glue stick to glue our ladybug together. Uh, probably a marker to help us with the eyes. A uh, pencil for tracing. And um, something to wind that little skinny brown strip around. Uh, you could use, I use the end of my pencil, or you could, if you have a grown-up helping you, you could use a toothpick, or you could use something like a straw. Just anything that's a little bit skinny and round that you can wind around. Uh, I traced my round shapes. You can see that the ladybug has got a small circle for a head, a bigger circle for a body, and two even bigger circles that we use to make the wings. So I traced a Tupperware top to make the wings. I traced around a sippy cup top to make the body part, which is a little smaller. And I just traced around a spice jar to make the head, which is even smaller. Okay. If you have a hole punch that you'd like to use for the eyes, you can do that. If you don't want the eyes quite that little or you don't have a hole punch, you can just trace around anything that's little and round. Like at the top of this marker, you could use your pencil and trace around. And then cut. So that's going to give us all our parts of the ladybug. And we'll just put them together and I'll show you that uh, how that happens next. Okay, let's get started. Here's my Tupperware. I'm going to show you how I hold this down with one hand. And I'm going to take my pencil and just trace around my construction paper to make a circle for the wings. Now, of course, ladybugs have two wings, so I'm going to make two circles. Okay. And on the black paper, I'm going to use my sippy cup for the body and just trace around that. And if you have a grown-up helping you, the grown-up can help you hold it down and you can trace around it. Or you can hold it down for, the grown for your grown-up and they can trace around it. Okay, so that's my body part for my ladybug. And then I'm going to trace around my little spice jar here to get the head. So I'm going to have two red circles for the wings. a larger black circle for the body and a smaller black circle for the head. But you can see that the wings, those circles are bigger than the body circles. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna cut those now. Let me just cut one out so you can see an example. I think the easiest one to cut that you can see will be the black one here. Okay, so. I am just going to go around all those edges, around that nice curve, 
can cut that circle out. Okay, there's our circle. And we can do the same thing with the little circle and the same thing with the two red circles. Okay. And we're going to end up, whoops, we're going to end up with head, body, and two wings. But the other thing we have to remember is we want to cut out those antenna. So I have my piece of brown paper, and like I said, you can use any color paper and just color it. And I'm just cutting a really, really skinny line right down the edge. Okay. And to make two antenna, I think about a couple inches long, maybe because we're going to curl it up. So I would say that's probably about three inches long, maybe. So I've got two little skinny sticks. They're three inches long. And for my eyes, as I said, you can trace around something that's really little and small, like a lipstick tube or the end of a marker. Or you can just use a hole punch and punch some holes. I'm going to do a couple extras in case I lose them. Okay, so that's pretty easy to do. You can hold the paper for your grown-up and they can punch if it's really stiff or they can hold it for you and you can punch or you can do the whole thing. Depends on what, uh, how comfortable you are with your hole punch. All right, so I think we've got all our ingredients now. So what we need to do is fold our wings in half. There's one, and there's the other. Okay. And we're going to put some circles on those, some dots. You can do that however you would like, big or small. Okay. So I'm going to make some kind of big ones here, I think. And you can use marker or crayon. Even if you have little some little stickers you, that are round, you could use stickers as the dots for the wings. Okay. And you can just put them wherever you want. Okay, so that's one side. Now let's do the other side. And it doesn't really matter if the circles are all the same size. However you'd like to do it is fine. All right, and soon we'll be getting to ladybug season where we're going to see a lot of those outside. Does that look good? Yeah, I'll put one more right there. Well, maybe I'll put one more right there. All right. So now we've got our wings. The next thing we're going to do is take our glue stick and wind it up a little bit. And I'm going to put some glue kind of on, you see where that is? It's my purple disappearing glue. I'm going to put that on each outer side of the body kind of coming together in the middle because I'm going to want my wings to come out like this. Okay. Okay, they're going to kind of leave a triangle shape in the middle and that's the bug's body. And you may have to push it down a little bit to get that to stick. Now the next thing is the head. So I'm going to put 
glue on the bottom half of that, like that. And stick that right like that. Okay, so now my ladybug has a head, a body, and two wings. The next thing is going to be our antenna. So remember how I said I wound that around? I wound that around this little small edge of the pencil. But you could use a toothpick, you could use a straw, whatever is small and round to wind this around to get it to be curly. Okay, about leave a little bit at the end that you don't wind. Okay, so there is a curly antenna. And let's do another one. Those ladybugs have two of those. Okay, so we're going to wind that. We're going to use our thumbs and our pointer fingers to wind that down. And just kind of hold it for a second. Okay, and then that's going to be a curly antenna. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to stick those on. So, once again, I'm going to take my glue stick. I'm going to do that part that I didn't curl up. And I'm going to stick that right under my ladybug's head. Okay, so there's one antenna. Do the same thing with the second antenna. Okay. And I'm going to have that stick out on the other side. Okay. All right, so there's our curly antenna for our ladybug. Now the only thing we have left to do are the eyes. Okay, so remember, I punched those out here of this white paper, or you could Brace around something like a marker top if you want the eye to be bigger. But since I punched them out, there's my little my little eyes that I punched out. They're really teeny. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on those. You see I've got this purple glue on my finger. I just go like that. It doesn't bother me if I get a little messy. And there goes one eye. Now let's put, and you know this purple fades, so it's not going to look purple for very long. It turns invisible. Okay, now I'm going to put the other eye on. Okay, and there's my little ladybug's eyes. And I like to give my bugs some, oops, some eyeballs too. So I'm going to just draw a little bit so my ladybug kind of looks like she's looking to the side. Okay. All right, and there is my ladybug with her flapping wings, her curly antenna, and her kind of curious looking eyes. Okay. And you can make, as I said, you can make a bunch of these. You can use them for decorations. Or you can use them to play with. Okay, they can be little bug friends. All right, let me get these pieces out of the way so you can take a good look at our ladybugs from today. And I hope you have fun with this. I think it's usually June when the ladybugs start coming out. So watch for them when you're outside on walks or playing in the yard. And um, you can have fun making some as well. Thanks a lot, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.